mixed exercise for question number one. This is uh, question is about uh, a restaurant and the number of uh, accident. So Katie did the experiment and uh, she found out that there's a strong correlation uh, on this graph number of uh, accident uh, number of restaurant versus number of accident and uh, Kate is claiming uh, a state that shows the building of more fast food restaurant in the hometown will cause more serious toss road accidents uh, it mean I think the graph should be other way around then because according to the KT is that uh, the number of fast food re re restaurant cause the number of accident okay I will change now the graph it's going to be Y and it's going to be X here okay let's see assume in that way uh, she has she got a far strong positive correlation uh, So it has to be 45 yeah okay so this is the minimum data the maximum data and now she found out that uh, she did I believe she did the extrapolation she can see that when the number of uh, the O oh, can look at from the gradient as well when the number of uh, restaurant increasing the accident is increasing okay now it is much sensible way rather than this one uh, now what is how do you feel this uh, first of all yeah okay she got a very strong positive correlation her statement was uh, building uh, fast food restaurants cause a more serious okay more road accident So how do you feel in now this is the reality okay this is the reality yeah there is a correlation maybe linear correlation so building fast food restaurant cause more road accident now now you want to talk to your heart and see that is this acceptable it is different sometime if you are in a village if you are in a village there is no shops and anything and uh, only the restaurant is there as food restaurants and the number of food restaurant is increasing uh, then there could be a, a increment of more road accident but it is very rarely in general we want to talk about so do you think that when the more road accident increase when uh, fast food restaurant increases more road accident uh, will happen now it's it's not uh, relate directly maybe with other variable when y is increasing another variable z is increasing because of z X is increasing. You may see that that kind of relationship. Y increasing, then Z increasing, and another W variable increasing, and you may see this one. So humidity, humidity is increasing, and visibility is decreasing. We worked this kind of sum previously. But what is the reality? Humidity increasing, then the foggy misty condition increasing, 
As a result, visibility is decreasing. There is no direct relationship with both. So basically, we are talking about causal relationship. Um, we can look at the other way around as well. Um, building fast food restaurant causes more road accident. How about the other one? The more road accident causes because of uh, uh, developing, uh, building the fast food restaurants. More and more road accident, the number of road, road accident is increasing. Is this due to building number of uh, more and more restaurants? No, that doesn't uh, sense, make sense. Hence, we can tell um, according to the information given, variable x and y have a strong positive correlation. However, there is no strong evidence to show whether the relationship is causal. Uh, both variable uh, could correlate with the third variable. Question number two, um, it is about uh, temperature and uh, carbon CO2 emission. Um, we have to draw a scatter diagram. So this is a rough sketch of this one. And, um, and part B, describe the correlation between uh, uh, CO2 emission and the temperature. We can see that this is going to be a strong uh, positive correlation. It has a positive, strong positive correlation. Uh, and uh, interpret your answer to part B. So, what is a strong positive correlation? What is the characteristics of uh, a positive line with the positive gradient? It means one uh, variable is increasing, the other variable also increasing. So, when C is increasing and T also increasing, so that's what we want to tell. So, as mean CO2 concentration, concentration in the yeah, increased as mean CO2 concentration in the atmosphere increase, the mean Temperatures also increased. Question number three. Uh, number of items. This is about a special employee, particular employee. So the number of time measures, the time measures to pack some items so, so for packing of two items take 11 minutes and this is uh, three pack 14 minutes likewise and the scatter diagram is plotted and part a the question is uh, describe the correlation between number of items packed and uh, taken so we can see that uh, strong positive correlation because we can see that we want to check uh, the 45 degree line so 45 degree tan 45 is 1 tan 45 is 1 so gradient is 1 so basically if gradient is 1 it's strong so this gradient is 1 can be here still 45 
और सामने आ रही है फोर्टी फाइव सामने आ रही है फोर्टी फाइव इट गो थ्रू द सीरो समटाइम समटाइम इट मे बी ही है फोर्टी फाइव और लाइक वाइज इट कैन बी एनी प्लेस बट सी वेदर द द ग्रेडियन इज फोर्टी फाइव देन इट इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉरलेशन सो देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉजिटिव कॉरलेशन अर्ल आई डिस्कस ग्रेडियन इक्वल टेन थीटा और the gradient when tan theta equal 1 theta equal 45 gradient 1 is 1 to 1 1 to 1 so this angle should be 45 uh, the equation of the uh, uh, regression line is given part b t equal 2.64 n plus uh, Six point three. Um, when you draw this line, this is zero six point three, and the gradient is going to be uh, two point six four. So m is two point six four. For so m mean uh, t and n, t divided by n is two point six four. It means this is one. Uh, it means uh, if the number of uh, items increases by one, the time. taken increases by approximately 2.64 so this is uh, n to t is 1 to 2.64 Uh, question number four. It is about energy consumptions and gross national product. Uh, the equation is given y equal twelve point nine x plus two two five, and uh, the economist uses regression uh, equation to estimate the energy consumption of the country for three thousand five hundred. Uh, maximum is thousand nine hundred. Um, so she want point three thousand five hundred. It mean in other way some may be it. So this is going to be a extra extrapolation. Uh, the calculation has to be done uh, externally. So oh, this is going to be a uh, extrapolation, and the prediction is uh, re less reliable. So we'll answer this one. Uh, this is an extrapolation as uh, three thousand five hundred, uh, way far greater than thousand nine hundred, which is maximum. Hence, prediction is less reliable. And the other question is uh, due to reason, yeah. Yeah, the other second answer reason is the regression uh, equation is calculated on y on x. This is y and x. Hence, only value of y can be predicted. The economists must need to predict. Economists need to predict the x value. Hence, economists need to regression equation calculated x on y. So he can't use this y on x to calculate. X value. The reason behind it because uh, actually, when we calculate the regression line, um, I think you can remember I discuss. Uh, 
uh, if this is x and y this if this is the regression line so i'll take this point so this is let's say 2 8 and this is the relevant point on the regression line so this is going to be 2 uh, 2 y 1 then when you find this distance so it's going to be y1 minus 8 square this m1 so m1 square is y minus 1 8 square but when we working on x on y y on x this value is fixed in other way i can work from here to here so this is, uh, I will take this is uh, um, what is the point? This is the point. So this point is 2, 8 and so it represents by this one now. So this is going to be uh, y value is fixed. This is, I will take x2. So then this is going to be, uh, let's say, N1, this distance. So, N1 equal um, X2 minus 2 square, N1 square. So, the calculation uh, technique, the so minimum uh, least square. So in here we will fix y, in here we will fix x, when y on x, when x on y we fix the other way around. So that is the reason. So question number 5, it is about the temperature and the selling number of pair of blouses. Oh, this is 6, 12, 6, uh, 58 and 10, uh, 50, 50. So when you look at this data, you can see that the data 50, this one, is kind of a, it's a bigger value compared to the other values. So then it, it is an issue. For this 50 is an issue when you look at those values and this is a big value then I am not sure about this whole data set so first of all now we will calculate the first question is show that uh, T bar is given uh, let's say T, T, T bar is 15.2 and sigma t is given 11.4 so outlier define t bar plus or minus 2 times sigma t so then we can find the boundaries and definitely it has to be upper boundary because it is 50 and um, and we can reject this 50 if it is an outlier uh, see that the objective of finding uh, gloves we need to get idea about the glass gloves but now we are working on temperature because we realize that the temperature value is not realistic uh, outlier will calculate outlier 15.2 plus or minus 2 times 11.4 so this is the definition for outlier we did the calculation and it has to the interval is minus 7.6 38 this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundary more than any number or less than any number is outlier hence uh, uh, t equal 50 is an outlier as 50 greater than 38 
part b give a reason whether or not the outlier should be omitted from the data yes definitely the outlier should be uh, omitted as uh, 50 is not realistic relative to sales of number of gloves pairs because it is 50 and for 50 centigrade we are expecting zero or let's say one but this is 50 sales it is highly unlikely to buy glasses when temperature is 50 hence this could be a recording error which is this could be an anomaly Uh, part C, give an interpretation of uh, minus 0 0.18, so we have T equal uh, minus 0 0.18 G plus uh, 18.4, this is Y, so this is the gradient, so T over G basically, uh, this is T on G graph, so it has a negative value, uh, 0 0.18 the negative mean uh, uh, t to g ratio is uh, 0 0.18 to 1 so g to t g to t is uh, 1 to 0 0.18 so oh, this is one is every pair of gloves um, so we'll write uh, according to the equation for every pair of uh, gloves sold temperature temperature decreases by 0 0.18 this is a linear equation a regression equation and this is t on g this is not g on t According to this equation, blouse is the independent value and the temperature is the dependent value. Question number six. This is about a spring. Experiment with a spring. Uh, keep in weight and uh, measure the length. Uh, the equation of regression line of the given s equal 0 0.2 m plus 44 so this is mass and this is length um, part a interpret the value of 44 and 0 0.2 uh, 
uh, in this context yeah 44 is the when m equals 0 m equals 0 s equal 44 44 cm is the length of a spring with no mass attached and this is the gradient s divided by m is 0 0.2 over 1 every one uh, of mass one gram of mass the length is uh, increasing by 0 0.2 if mass of 1 g is attached the spring will increase in length by approximately 0 0.2 then uh, so part b explain why it not be sensible to use the regression equation to work out the s when m equal 100 and so m is minimum value is 20 and maximum value according to the experiment 100 grams now uh, now we want to find when m equal 150 so this is going to be a extrapolation so prediction is when m is 150 is an extrapolation hence the prediction is not reliable uh, part 2 the value of m when s is 60 so the this is the equation given s on m s on m but uh, for the prediction s equal 60 we need m on s so this uh oh calculate and uh, regression equation calculated on S on M. Hence, it is not suitable to predict M M value S on M instead instead equation from m on s should be used
Question number seven is a experiment between uh, cocoa percentage and the pens. Uh, the scatter diagram I just sketch roughly. So uh, uh, draw a scatter diagram part A, and to draw the regression line. So we have to draw the regression line on the diagram. So uh, when you draw, you may get uh, say this kind of one. So it is given y equal 17.0 plus 1.54x. So take when uh, x equals 0, y equals 17 or 17, 0. And you can take another value x equal uh, 50 y equals 17 plus 1.54550 so then 50 and uh, uh, 94 part c the student believe that the one branded of chocolate is overpaid and uses use the regression line to suggest a fair price for this fair price for this brand suggest with the reason which the brand is overpaid so when you look at so this is the the fair line so we can see that uh, those two brands are overpaid sorry overpriced overpriced uh, the data points b and t overpaid so we can uh, tell the data point B and D are far above the regression line. Hence, plan B and D is overpriced. A part D, comment on the validity of the student method for method for such a fair price. The equation is plotted on y on x. So student is predicting a y value. Price is y value on x. So then the student is right. So we can tell that. Uh, The regression equation should be used to predict a value for y given x. Hence, the uh, student method is valid. Uh, 